Okay, I'm gonna get ready to show you how I'm gonna put this to this uh put the flowers in this vase. Okay, I got this vase from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I got these little flowers from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and these little flowers here. And what I'm gonna do is something similar to this where I have the pink. I don't have a lot of these pink flowers left, but I still want to put it in here. So I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle, you know. So I'm gonna start with some these white flowers. And I have a um, butter knife. Just gonna put those down. And when you put the flowers and you don't wanna stuff them down all the way, because you don't want to you want them to look like they're kind of floating in the jar, not stuffed and packed in. Okay. And, or if you don't want to use flowers, you can use uh lace, um, ribbon, uh, tissue paper. Those are all other things you can use. Now I'm gonna put this flower in to the middle. Alright. Then take the rest of the white flowers and put them on top. I'll try to turn the stem so that the flowers face on the outside. Like that. And just position them in there. Okay, so there it is. There's the two vases. I want to show you my plates. I actually got these online. Okay, and it's uh, actually uh, flowers with vases on them. Well, that was really pretty. And I'm going to have my hot glue gun heating up. As soon as that heats all the way up, I'm going to come right back to you. And then I'm going to show you how I put this together. Okay, now I have my hot glue gun ready. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put this together. It's very easy. Start with the first plate. And you're going to go to the middle. And you're just going to put a wad of hot glue right in the middle. Okay, nice wide. And then you're going to take this and put this right in the middle and glue it down. Just like that. Okay. Now if it's not all the way glued down, you want to put some more on it. Okay. Okay, let that sit for a minute. Okay. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is you want to um, take the glue gun and go right on the rim. You got to move quick on this part because this glue, it dries fast. Hot. You want to take this, line it up, and put that right on top of that. Okay. You want to do the same thing for the last layer. Well, here it is. Okay. Alright, and here's the one I'm using. This is the pink one I have. And like I said, I'm using these to store my craft supplies. They're actually supposed to be necklace and jewelry holders. But I'm using this, my craft stuff on it to keep my desk clean. Okay, and here I got my MP3 player and my speakers there at the top so I can listen to music. And this one, I put lace and everything on this. I really dressed this one up. And I put flowers on the... I really dressed this. I dressed that one up. That was the um big, the first one I did. And then this one, I just left it plain. And this one, I'm just going to leave it like that because the flowers... You know, really don't have to do much with it because the plates are already decorated. And then you have the flowers in the vase, so it's not really much else that has to be done. I mean, I could put some lace on it, but I'm going to leave it plain, you know. Okay, and that's how you make a, um, a necklace holder or, um, or you can use it for crafts or, or for any, I mean, you could even use one of these for a snack tray okay 
you know, maybe if you're having a party, you could put chips on one level, pretzels on one level, and cheese on another level. Or you can use it for weddings, and you could put candy on all three levels. And there's a whole lot you can do with these. Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, my name is Shane. I want to thank you for watching Shane for Crafts, and God bless. Bye-bye.